Short term massive action is what it takes to spark momentum in your business. Hey everybody and welcome to week two. Short term massive action is what it takes to spark momentum in our business. Why? I mean because action is what builds momentum. Taking action is what will be required to get to the yes in this business. It's not for everyone, but like a waitress offering dessert, it's your job to share and it's theirs to decide whether or not they want it. Eventually, if you offer it to enough people, somebody is going to take you up on it. Now, I want you guys to track your actions. When you track and chart your reach outs and your no's, you develop accountability and you start to get real with yourself in terms of the work that you're really doing or not doing, and the work that it takes. What's more is you'll start to develop some stats for how many reach outs it actually takes to get to a yes. <laughs> it also reframes the no. When you're attempting to get them, it no longer feels so negative. Okay, story time, and I want you guys to think on this. If I offered a room full of 250 people a job taking care of my chickens, probably a handful would raise their hands and take me up on it, right? <laughs> Does that mean that everybody in that room doesn't value farms or chickens? No. Are they all rejecting me? No, it's not a personal rejection. It's just a personal preference and a process of going through the no's, right? When I go through that many no's, I'm bound to find some yeses. Okay, one more story and then you're off to find your own no's. <laughs> what if, what if one of your friends or your neighbors or your acquaintances was interested in joining but too timid to ask you about it? Now you've never asked her to join your team, you've never even talked about it. So her anxiety tells her that you don't think she'd be any good at it, therefore she wouldn't be good at it, therefore she doesn't say anything and the world continues turning. Okay, and consider this alternate reality. You run into Sarah Lee at the mailbox or the bus pickup or whatever and the conversation goes something like this. Oh, hey Sally Sue, how was your day today? Sarah Lee, I have just had the best day. It sounds so silly, but Posh released this new pineapple hand cream and it came in today and I think I've sniffed my hands like 25 times. And then she says, jealous, that sounds amazing. I was wondering if you were still doing Posh. Oh yes, it keeps me sane. You should join me sometime. We could have some meetings. <laughs> but seriously, I do love my fun job. You guys, those are just two examples for you to consider. It's literally your action or inaction that will determine your level of success. Sure, it may happen quickly, well more quickly for some than others, but ultimately anyone can be successful. You've just got to take action. You guys, don't overcomplicate it. Take action, talk to people, reach out to people, start conversations, and don't be afraid to share your posh. Whether you're sharing your posh products or your posh opportunity, don't be afraid to share it. Somebody might even just be interested, but too shy to say something. And when you don't make that initial effort, which is your J-O-B, <laughs> oftentimes the conversation never gets brought about. So I want you guys to step out of your comfort zone own your business and talk about it. It's that easy. 